all right guys i'm back i know i took a break for a while but yeah i'm back today i am going to show all of you how to make classes i'm actually going to make a a class and it's going to be something about like like games something we could all like relate to so you guys can take a look at what I did here. All this. I know I don't have like the line, the numbered line, so you can't really tell how many lines I actually use, but yeah. It's not that much. It's pretty simple once you pick it up, and you can hear my birds in the background. Stay gone. You're not going crazy. The names are Blue Jay and Rosie. Blue Jay's obviously blue and Rosie is green. I didn't come up with the name, but I like it. So, basically, classes link are like links to each other. Like H, like CSS. That's crazy. Rosie just blue, but whatever. Like CSS and HTML go together, these two files can go together, can, doesn't mean that they have to. So this is a class right here. And I'm basically linking this to this. This is, think of it as like the CSS. It tells, it tells um, your Java program what needs to happen with this variable with this variable string is a variable so string is another type of variable like int double stuff like that so let's see how it works My computer kind of freezes a little bit, but still pretty decent. Alright, so you have to import a scanner. And what a scanner basically is, is it allows you to talk to your computer. I know it's pretty cool. Yeah. And you see the code right there. You just copy it, you put it recommended on top of here I don't know if you can do it back down anywhere else and have it work so the file name is test so you don't I can get rid of this and it still worked perfectly I can even add, make this a private class private classes are recommended but since pay no attention to this because I didn't really yeah private classes are recommended because they don't get um they can't get edited and it, it's it's like get used to it like that that's the best way I can explain it private people can people can't mess it up public everyone can see it people can edit edit it even though, even if you don't want them to edit it, edit it, edit it. So this is how you um, tell your computer that you want to use a scanner. You put, you import the scanner here, and basically you call it up with scanner input. This is the name of us of your scanner so think of it as a variable think this scanner acts the same way as int and double and strings and, and this is the name so variable variable name new scanner which means you're using a new scanner and not an old scanner system in basically means what you 
input into your computer so what you type in and this is how you make a class right here test p2 that's the name of this file you write the name of your file here and over here you can make you can like you can write any you can come up with any name that you want but you should always have this object here you should always have object inside of the name somewhere and so this file this is the file name this is the object which basically lets us use every code that's inside of here every code that's inside of here we can use because we're using it we made an object and yeah you want a new one and this is how you start it right here so we're gonna print out and put your name so over here when the program begins it'll ask you to type in what your name is this is where the real magic happens strings player one name so remember over here we have strings we're basically calling this up we're calling this variable we're using it and it's basically go means I'll find a way around this this is taking quite a while okay so it basically means this variable is going to be equal to what you type in over here to what you type in so the scanner basically is an empty strip of is an empty line over here where you're going to type in and whatever you type in is going to be copied that's the best way I can put it and to the next line so like a line below that and you're calling up your object which lets you use this file again and play your name so let's see what it looks like I'm just going to quickly delete all of this so you guys don't get too distracted save it let's see the magic Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so I didn't realize that it popped up down here. And put your name. See where it's right here? And put your name. So let's say my name is. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm writing Mark Twain. Welcome aboard, Private Mark Twain. So, it takes the variable of what you inputted here. It uses this class. And this class, it, we wrote welcome aboard private and basically what we're going to do is we're going to add whatever you wrote for player one's name which is a variable and variables are placeholders and we're going to include it so you so this so you so the system out print comes out first your scanner comes out second this text comes out no matter what you put it should come out first and then basically whatever you wrote right here is going to come out after this and I made another 
quotation here just to add a period at the end. So let's skip ahead like 20 minutes later that I was working on earlier. I basically added weight, height, country, and age. And this is how you comment in Java. See all this weight? It's very simple because you're kind of reusing the same code except you're just editing the name and what it's going to print out. So it's very accessible in that sort of way. Pretty much the same thing once you get the hang of it. So let's run it and see what happens. This time my name is Ryan, so welcome aboard, Private Ryan. Oh yeah, typo over here. It should be how much do you weigh, but I don't care. I am terrible with grammar. Let's just say 210, because he's like a huge guy. 210 pounds, eh? And this is really like your like your recruiter talking to you. So imagine that. How tall are you, Private Ryan? You can always change the space here. I'm just leaving it, making sure that you guys realize not to make these mistakes, especially if you want to make money off of working with Java. They expect things perfect and meticulous. So I'm going to end this. Just to see if you guys notice where the mistakes were. Hope you were paying attention. And we're going to run it. And I know you can't see it, but save them in the same folder. Or else I don't think they can run. I haven't really tried it out yet. So, like before, my name's Ryan. Welcome aboard, Private Ryan. How much do you weigh? 210. 210 pounds, eh? How tall are you, Private Ryan? Six seven. Six seven. We could use a person of your height. What country are you from, Pride Ryan? Let's go, Chile. So so you're from Chile. Last question for me. How old are you, Private Ryan? Let's say I'm eighteen. You're eighteen. and basically that's it you can add more to this code I just wanted to show like the quick way and demonstrate how to do it it's very quick and simple mine is pretty clean and add and subscribe like this is Henry1502 and I am out